Gotten. Goku has been searching for Gotten for an hour after he heard them arguing about Chi Chi's cheating on him with Yamcha. He was scared of losing his son, especially Kagami, who went looking for him. He could sense his energy presence, where he could finally bring Gotten home. So he landed into the soft nightshade green grass and followed his presence immediately. When he made it, he saw him sitting on the parking porch with Kagami, who finally found him. He could hear their voices as he noticed Kagomi was telling him a story just like she did from a few hours ago. Goku went to go hide behind the tree and began to hear Kagomi's smooth voice. He could hear telling Gotten a story about the legendary warrior priestess named Lady Midoriko, who died after creating the Shikin Jewel of Four Souls. He could see a smile on their faces when she was glad Gotten was feeling happy. He was glad that Kagomi was able to calm Gotten down after learning he and Chi Chi are splitting up. Goku was worried when Gotten ran off, but when he saw how Kagomi finally found Gotten sitting all alone in the park, he sighed in relief. Goku wished Kagomi would have been Gotten's real mother. He wished he would have married Kagomi when he had a chance to turn back so he could be with her and have children with him. Speaking of having thoughts of Kagami, he still needed to talk to Gotten about telling his mother that he hated her. It didn't matter how angry and sad he was at her. Gotten shouldn't say that to Chi Chi after he told her to leave him alone, and he hated her before running away. So Goku approached them as he made sure he doesn't scare them to death. So instead he cleared his throat to give their attention as Kagomi and Gotten turned their heads and saw him standing behind them. Daddy? Gotten cried out as he leaped towards him and hugged him. Goku hugged him back instantly. Hey, little buddy? Are you okay? You scared me when you ran off. Goku said happily. I'm fine, but Kagomi found me, by the way. She also told me a story about the creator of the Shikin Jewel named Midoriko, the lady who brought her and Shippo into our world before you saved them from demons. It was pretty cool. Goku chuckled. I heard part of it. It sounded cool. Kagami can tell you and Trunks a story again someday. Yeah, will you, Kagami? Kagomi smiled as she nodded her head. Of course, Gotten, whatever you feel bored with, you can bring Trunks with you so I will continue to tell you a story. Yay! Gotten exclaimed happily. After that, Goku put Gotten down, and began to walk beside him when he started to hold onto his hand. Kagomi watched them walking at the park. Gotten, we need to talk about your mother. Goku said, about what you said to her was wrong. So you better apologize to her, son. I know, Gotten muttered. You do? He nodded. Gotten faced him. Yeah, Kagomi told me that I shouldn't have said that to mom, I was so angry that she did that to you. I wanted to hurt her as much as she hurt you that much. He shook his head. No gotten. You shouldn't hurt your mom. This isn't right to hurt people. Your mom has been taking care of you and your older brother when you were a baby when I'm not around after I died in the cell game. You know she still loves you and she would never do those things to you. Except she has been cheating on me with Yamcha. I know. Kagomi explained it to me as well. I'll go and apologize to her. But if it's okay with you if I'd like to stay with Kagami for a while longer. Goku smiled at him. Of course you can, but remember to apologize to your mom. Okay, dad. Gotten replied as he hugged his father again then he faced Kagami with an excited look on his face. Kagami, after I apologize to mom, isn't okay if I can bring Trunks, Shippo, and the Pilaf gang with me. So, you can continue telling us a story? Kagomi sighed with a smile. Sure. I don't see why not. Yay. After that, he finally went back to Capsule Corp so he has to go apologies to his mother. So now Goku was alone with Kagami. Goku gave her a kind smile and tell her, Kagomi, I want to thank you for being here with him. I was so worried about him after he learned about us getting split then running away. She chuckled. Anytime, Goku. I love that little boy as if he and Shippo were my own. I'm glad you feel that way, Goku replied, walking beside her. So, what is your plan after you found out Chi Chi has been cheating on you? Kagomi asked him awkwardly. He sighed, began to glare at the ground. From now on, I'm going to get away from Chi Chi. Then I'll sign up for a divorce paper. That sounds rush, Kagomi muttered. Maybe for a while, comma, Goku replied in a stern voice. Kagomi was still worried when she could hear his angry voice. Goku, are you still mad about Chi Chi and Yamcha? Yeah, he muttered. Goku turned his head at Kagomi and smiled at the bit. You know, you and I are both the same, right? Kagami was confused. You being betrayed by Inuyasha after replacing you with Kikayo, and me being fooled by Chi Chi, when she's been cheating on me with Yamcha for almost 14 years. It feels like you and I are connected, which it's complicated. She sweat dropped concerned. But, Goku, I'm worried if everyone will think I did it. What do you mean? About Chi Chi who thinks you divorce her because of me. 
So that's why I can't be with you, and I didn't want everyone to think I'm a reason who drifted you alert, which I'm a bad person. Well, Chi Chi isn't wrong, but that's the main reason. If you and I were both heartbreakers, we were both the same. We were meant to be together, and I'm not going to put up with adultery. Goku, I don't thin. Goku gripped her in her shoulders as he faced her gaze while staring at them. But he continued to talk. No, it's okay. I understand that you don't want to be with me. But I wanted to prove to you that I am your real love. You know it's funny. Breaking up with Chi Chi doesn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Everyone loved you and finally accepted you. I still want to protect you from Black and Zamasu. I still want to prove to you that you're wrong if I wasn't somebody. Goku don't. Kagomi begged, almost sobbing. He blinked his eyes in confusion when he saw Kagami's eyes are filled with tears when he realized he was hurting her. He never meant to feel this way. He did scare her. So he let go of her and continued to face her. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I just want to be with you, Goku said sadly. Kagomi wiped off the tears from her eyes and she gave him a soft smile. No, it's okay. Sometimes it scares me when someone is losing their sanity. She replied, besides, I couldn't take if you suddenly decided if you ever want to get back with your wife. Goku was shocked. So he shook his head and took one of her hands. No, of course not. I would never do that to you. I promise. But everyone will think I ruined your marriage. Especially Chi Chi. She'll blame me for what I did. He glared. How cares what Chi Chi think? You shouldn't either. Now Vegeta and Bulma know, which they're fine and glad. They never tell anybody about us. But we have to if we don't. It's going to cause tension your family and friends, Kagomi said, worried. He didn't reply as he looked away. Goku felt her hand grip onto his right shoulder that made him glance his eyes at her. Goku, why don't you stay at Bulma's place and get yourself a fine rest? We still need to figure out how to beat Black and Zamasu. Goku sighed. Okay, he said. But I'm not going to give on you until I can prove I'll give you my real love. Goku, you don't have to. I can still handle myself. Kagomi muttered. After that, he kissed her on the left cheek, until the two returned to the capsule corp. Goku wanted to prove that Kagomi was wrong. So he can protect her, and make her gain his trust until he will give her his real love. He knew for himself that he and Kagomi were meant to be together when they're heartbreakers. The Saiyan and the priestess were meant to be true soulmates.